we're in the middle of nowhere <laughs> we don't know where we are um, we don't know how to get out of here Built in 1868, Marichi Reservoir is Singapore's oldest and largest reservoir. I've often wondered why this reservoir is labelled as Singapore's most haunted nature reserve. Could the many deaths at this location be the reason? In 2007, a Vietnamese man was killed when he was struck by a fallen branch near the exit of the Pataling Trail. In 2016, the body of a 22-year-old lady was found floating near the reservoir's jetty. And more recently, in 2020, a 50-year-old man was found dead at the foot of the four-story high Jalotong Tower. And then, there is the Orchard Road body parts murder. In 2005, a severed head, arms and legs of a female was found at Orchard MRT Station while the torso was dumped at McRitchie Reservoir. Or perhaps the reservoir is haunted by the spirits that have been tasked to guard the Shinto Shrine. Built by over 20,000 prisoners of war, the ruins of the Japanese shrine is located in the middle of the dense forest. Many hikers have lost their way while trying to locate this historic site. We are at Singapore's oldest reservoir. This is the McMichi Reservoir. Now, it played an important role in the Japanese occupation because the Japanese, they built a sacred shrine right here. But unfortunately, we cannot visit this location because it is now in a restricted area. So N Parks says, no, you guys can't visit. But there are other areas for us to visit. And the first place we will go tonight is the Lim Bo Seng tomb. And there's another grave that we're trying to find and that's a lot further into the reservoir. And it's a grave that is, there's nothing much known about this grave, all right? Let's put it that way. But we hope to find it and it's by the water's edge. So our paranormal adventure starts now. All right, so here we are, Limbo Singh's tomb. Um, it's very clean, right? That's the first thing uh, I noticed about the place. But then again, this is Singapore. Everything's very clean. It's very dark here. I can see the park lights in the distance. Uh, I don't know, right? I mean, I've read notes about this tomb and it says that the remains of this great man is here. It, it's, it's buried here. But then again, um, I would have thought like the families or, or, of this man would come here and place offerings. But there isn't any. So, Limbo Singh, if you're, if you're here, could you please give us a sign? Like make noise anywhere around me. Um, you could speak into the microphones, obviously. There's one microphone there. I've got my mic. I'm mic'd up. There's another microphone over there. You could, you could say something and then you'll pick it up. I'm going to take out our trusty K2 meter and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to take out our trusty K2 meter and I'm going to put it right here. There are no power lines whatsoever in this area. We checked it out earlier in the day. Uh, as you can see, there are no street lamps here, no park lamps as well. So we can rule out um, cables that are underground. Okay, that's the one thing we can, we can rule out. There's no radar towers here as well. All our phones are, uh, uh, have been turned off. There's a strong jasmine smell. 
Yeah, I can smell that. Right, so Shaquille just said that there's a strong, uh, like flowery smell. Could be jasmine, could be Frenchy Penny. That's really good. Uh, so it, it, it wasn't here earlier, but now it's pretty strong. If you're a soldier, come forward. Come as close as possible. Oh, that flowery smell is a lot stronger. Uh, can you guys smell? Yeah, very strong. <laughs> wow. Smells like it's coming right from behind here. Mm. Is there a female entity? Do you guys still smell? Yeah, it's, it's like right beside him. Here there's no smell, it's right beside him. Smell. Yeah. Okay. I feel a presence beside me. <laughs> okay. Uh, why don't you turn the camera then? Why don't you say something? Turn the camera towards you. You okay? Yeah. I felt a presence behind me. Uh, the smell is right beside me. And yeah. Oh yeah, you're right, man. <laughs> inside, inside him, man. I'm not joking. I, I've been standing inside him. Are you are you attracted to to this man? You can have him if you want. At a price, of course. Next up, we began our hike to the boardwalk. The Chumperai Trail skirts the edge of the reservoir. Do you hear that? Like, <gasps> did anybody hear that? Yeah. Like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. is that a wild ball? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Can you explain to the camera? <laughs> uh, I I don't want to stop walking, but we've been hearing this. Uh, yeah. This loud breathing, like, <laughs> and I have no idea what just, the. Just keep moving. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I don't know whether is it a wild animal, but it seems to be following us. Uh, who's holding me to the next? No part. Come. Why? Anything? Just pocket. my life i have no idea where we are guys it's uh we've just been walking for at least an hour hoping to reach the end okay we are approaching uh like a footpath where do we go left or right man hold on there are street signs here Okay, this is not where we want to go. On the right, it says Mayuji Reservoir. What? Yeah. What? Walk the broadwalk. Okay, how do we get to, to Lonnie Road? Lonnie Road on the right. Well, we can go there, right? We are approaching another boardwalk in 50 meters. Yeah. Should we try that, that boardwalk to see whether it leads us out? You will need us out, but how about this? Uh, there's a small sign uh -huh. showing us where to go. You see? The hikers one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's 8 km. 8 km, you know, bro. What? Can we try this boat walk to see whether there's anything first? Because it's only 50 meters away. Okay. I'm hearing the traffic tap behind me. Okay, stop. Yeah. Yeah? I'm hearing a stuff who's stuck behind me, okay. Okay. 
Hello, don't listen to me. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, if you are the person walking behind us, if not, you are the person, you are the entity, follow us down a little bit more. We'll come to a point that we will stop and then I can communicate with you, okay? It says we are here now. Yeah. This is Bukit Brown Cemetery. So I, I want to get out of this place. You cannot, there's no out route. Okay, I got one bar here now. Here. Yeah. yeah, because if we, where we are here, right? How do we get here? Why is it? Why is there nothing here? Do you? Huh? Yeah. I got one by left, huh? Okay. Yeah, we need to stop here, man. Change battery and stuff. I don't know which side we're facing. Okay, yeah. the boardwalk. So here, lah. Right? You here? They should put an LC sign, man. Okay, if we're going to Jering Broadwalk. No, we are Jering already. This, this is the Jering Hut. Yeah. So this Jering Hut, you are here. So the exit is right. The main road is right behind us. There, right? Yeah, there. Okay. Let's change battery at, at the hut. Okay. So, we are here. What was the name of this hut? Jering. During the during hut, uh, we stopped for a break, so we're having a, our smoke break. Uh, it's been exhausting, and then right now, if you guys can see the meter, look at that. Oh my god, this thing it was the one that pulling us. I'm gonna put my phone down. Yep. Oh, wow, wow, wow. that's a very high meter. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so as we are approaching this hut from like a distance away, we could. Um, yes, we could. We were hearing footsteps behind us. So I'm guessing that is you. Uh, move to Aza, maybe Aza. No? Mm. Somewhere there. <coughs> Somewhere there. <coughs> Somewhere there. <coughs> Somewhere there. The team is really tired. I'm tired. We've been here for hours. We're just walking and walking and walking. And so we ended up here. We have no idea how to get out. We don't want to walk back, right? Um, we're hoping to shortcut up. So I would like to say hello Are you happy that we are here? Is it simple? A little bit Little bit, little bit. And it keeps going in and out. Yeah. <laughs> if you like us to leave this place, ooh, you give us a sign. Then. A bit of footsteps. Did anybody hear that? No, it's on your side. Yeah. Is that you? Uh, I think it's on top. Are you on top? Of this hut, could you make one more sound at the top? We 
somewhere in the middle of nowhere <laughs> we don't know where we are um, we don't know how to get out of here um, what else can I tell you the viewer that the fear is real we felt that we were chased just now yeah along the boardwalk we felt that we were being chased by something but I didn't know whether it was wildlife or not so I told the team we are not going to stop <laughs> good decision right were you the one that was chasing us were you chasing us I have to, to listen to my gut instinct, right? And it, my gut instinct is saying that we should leave. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Okay, we have to leave. Yeah. But if we walk down that, like this direction, uh -huh. I have no idea where, where we're going to go. Um, I'm looking at the map. It's end of the trail. It's end of, end of the trail. Okay. Yeah. So the if we took the broad walk, if we take the broad walk, it's a longer boardwalk uh, uh -huh. and a show, so. So how? how? How do we like get out to like the main road? I'll uh, just follow this road, this off-road thing. Okay. All the way to the show. And then we'll get to, to the main road? Yeah. It's quite a hike. Uh. It's not really a hike. It's just a long straight path. Mm -hmm. To the end of the trail. Okay. The road. 4.7 kilometers Straight Then left It's a T junction Unless if you're Oof. all willing to go back to the broad walk I, I don't think we should go wow, to the back broad walk wow, wow, It's wow. too dangerous Yeah We should go out the road and walk by the main road Yep Yeah I, I'm I, really sorry guys Huh? For what? This is, this is really dangerous The broad walk right uh -huh. While you guys were uh, walking right All the way We I didn't want to scare Azzy but there were something that were kept calling my name. Mm. You know what I mean, yeah. But then why didn't you tell us? You should it tell us. Too danger. Yeah, I felt like I was in danger, man. So someone was calling out your yeah, name. The the only thing that the only time that I couldn't take it was when I heard the extra footstep behind me. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm moving because my my instinct says something bad is going to happen. Let's go. Yeah. Can someone just get me back? Okay. Yeah, I, I'll take the back. I keep talking about having a paranormal adventure and I keep inviting you on this adventure. Whatever we experienced tonight, for sure, it is a paranormal adventure and so much more, man. Uh, so many different emotions. Uh, there's Shakil that's quite angry that, you know, this thing was following us. I, I, I know for a fact it's a demonic entity that didn't want us in there anymore. He's saying, get out. And my gut instinct, it, this doesn't happen very often, but it's usually in places like Istana would know where demons run free where my gut instinct says no no well, get out get out get out get out so that's exactly what I did with the team thankfully we took this this uh, trail and then it led us here to Lonnie Road so we're out man guys thank you so much for watching this episode join us for the next paranormal paranormal adventure okay the next time I'm tired Noah Boyd and the GFS team out <laughs>